Hey you guys, figured I'd do this on a uh, well, Sunday afternoon here. I was just reading a bunch of news. I'm going to go over a um, bunch of stuff I found here. Starting with last Friday afternoon, here's a, a real interesting article here. Uh, Jan Hatzus from, he's from uh, Goldman Sachs, of course. Jane Hatzus, Friday night bomb. Uh, we are downgrading our real GDP growth estimate from one and two, one and three quarter from two and a half percent. Of course, while the article says, starts off saying, uh, well, nobody could have seen this coming. No, I could. I mean, you know, the only real GDP gross domestic product is, you know, the Fed printing money and, uh, you know, playing with the stock markets and all this. So that's from Goldman Sachs. Uh, the real GDP is uh, just getting cut to bare bones here. One and three quarters, that probably means it's well under actual 1%. Um, kind of interesting gas story here. As gasoline prices three prices pass, 381, stranded motorists looking for cheap refueling options surge. So in other words, this article just goes to... Um, Kind of explain how you know everybody's using uh they're going well out of their way to save a penny here or a penny there on uh gallons of gas which of course you know most of the time you probably spend more driving out there but it shows how people are not being able to handle the increase in um in gas prices just so far uh, there's another article here about um i think i'll get i think i got it in this list it's about Libya and how their um, uh, NATO over there is running out of supplies. They're running low on uh, on uh, you know weapons, but everything. You know, it's like a skeleton crew over there doing this you know invasion. They don't have oil. They don't have. They're short on food, even ammo. Uh, they don't have it. Uh, last week, one of the oil um, one of the uh, spokesmen for some oil whatever company came out and said that. You know, while get while oil is rising like crazy now, you know, oil's already back over to above where it fell to um, a week ago or so. You know, everybody was saying how oil, you know, fell. Oh, oil's going back down now, well, back over where it was. <clears throat> and the thing is, is that people can't pay people already with a 381 average nationwide. They can't pay it. Um, uh, inflation. Oh, this is pretty interesting. Jim Grant on inflation. He says, "Quote: There will there will be a lot of it suddenly, because our interest rate structure is beyond strange. Well, well, the interest rate structure. What the hell? The interest rates have been dropped down to zero percent to mask over everything for uh, two and a half years. Interest rates. Hell, at a zero percent interest rate, just go try raising that to two percent or something." You know, that's a good article. Um, gold. That's pretty interesting. Uh, University of Texas just bought $1 billion in uh, physical gold and taken delivery of it. You know, everybody is right now. I mean, just the reason the gold's go gold and silver is going up is because people are saying, until you get this monetary BS addressed, we're putting all our money and all our resources into physical physical metals. You know, that's pretty easy to see. I mean, everybody's doing it. That's why it's going up. China hikes rates. You know, it is pretty interesting about how, you know, China and all these other countries, China's been raising their rates. Um, this is like the fifth, um, the fifth uh, interest rate increase as their real, their real estate bubble over there now is is popping in China and again this story says that the Chinese mass the the uh, affluent people in China are buying gold uh, there's an article here about TEPCO I, I, I read this um, they're saying in this article that all these reactors have uh, have uh, melted out of their core structures or whatever I hadn't really heard that um, but apparently there's a video in this article, um, unmanned helicopter, there's some robots in there working, but they claim that the, 
that four of these reactors are now melted out of their you know, containment. S&P downgrades. Yeah, um, there's another one too, the uh, Standard & Poor. They're starting to downgrade stocks and all this. Uh, it's, it's starting. You know, four big earnings came out last week. Alcoa Aluminum, Google, Bank of America. Uh, someone else, I can't think of it, but they were all pretty bad earnings. You know, Google per share price fell 10% uh, on Friday. Here's Elliot Spitzer saying, uh, it's kind of an interesting article. Elliot Spitzer, if the Attorney General does not sue Goldman Sachs, he should resign. Of course, Eric Holder, you know, Obama's, you know, buddy and all. But Spitzer's out there on the public media on CNN here saying that uh, the Attorney General needs to sue Goldman Sachs. So there's just a lot of weird stuff going on, you know what I mean? It's just a lot of stuff. You know, in a video I did earlier this morning, someone was commenting to me about, you know, I can't believe that Obama's just doing this, you know, like, I said, well, you know, it seems to me like these guys think that they can now just get away with anything. They, um, I mentioned this in a past video, a recent video here about, you know, these guys were, were a little, they were pretty worried when they first started off with this, the first bailout, the markets went down. They were kind of worried about this, you know, they were on edge. They were saying, you know, they were you know, real, real cautious about this. They were, they were nervous. And now they're just coming out saying, whatever, just raise the debt ceiling, just, yeah, QE3, never mind what the people think. Um, first article here, um, I was going to do just a video on this, but I'll just include it in. This is one of the best. So doubling down to uh, the dollar index, DXY0, has the Fed in its stealth, stealthy synthetic bet to keep long-term yields low become the next AIG? Oh, yeah, oh, the Fed's bankrupt. Sure. A pull quote from here. Stunningly, today we learn that to keep long rates low, the Fed may have resorted to nothing short of the same suicidal trade that destroyed AIG and brought the entire system to its knees. Namely, Ben Bernanke is now quite quite possibly the second coming of Joe Cassano since in order to keep rates low, Bernanke is forced to a last resort action of selling billions upon billions of treasury puts to pin rates low, contrary to, nat to a natural supply and demand mechanics. Well, sure. That's all they're doing. You know, they're, they're having to place, you know, bets against everything that they're buying. In case they drop, it's going to be, a, you know, a real nightmare to them. So all they can do is get in there, manipulate silver down, gold down, the dollar. The, you know, the Fed's operations daily now are just one big manipulation attempt. You know, it's crazy. I don't see how it can keep, uh, keep going for very much longer. I think that there's there's got to be some kind of a you know an end game coming up here pretty soon because everything is stretched to the limit. Everything's stretched to the max right now. Um, you know, if they print more, okay, well the dollar collapses. No, that's boiled down. That's what it comes down to. Um, all right, hey guys, this ran for quite a while here. I'm going to uh, leave you this stuff and have a happy rest of the weekend. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.